peace is the universal hope for all humanity. It is the basis for the pursuit of happiness and the most fundamental human right. It is a common recognition of world values. Since the beginning of times, the yearning for peace has never ceased, nor have its ideologies. Norwegian scholar Galtong J pioneered modern peace studies. Using medical theories for analysis, he recognized two aspects of peace, positive peace and negative peace. Negative peace refers to attaining a cessation of ongoing violence. It is a superficial treatment. Positive peace refers to a deep and fundamental treatment that starts with satisfying man's inner desires and physical needs. When his needs are satisfied, man feels secure. Only then can he feel love. Only love can dissolve hatred and prevent conflicts. Then real world peace can be achieved. The way to world peace lies in culture. Chinese culture is broad and profound. Passed down through 7,000 years, it still remains viable. Chinese culture is a culture of goodness. Built around Confucianism, the orthodox lineage of Chinese culture is the essential way which leads people from competition to cooperation and from opposition to reconciliation. It is the foundation of peace and the light for future world peace. Taiwan, a beautiful island known as Formosa, inherited the great orthodoxy of Chinese culture. The world operates for the benefit of all. With benevolence as its foundation, it achieves universal harmony through the way of the mean. Therefore, the ideology of peace has been spread and is deeply rooted in Taiwan. The multi-integration and continuous reconciliation is the realization of society's pursuit of harmony and happiness, upon which religions have immense influence and contributions. Master Huiyan's birth name was Yi Rei Chang. After his recovery from a serious illness in 1982, he gave up a blossoming career and made a great vow to dedicate himself to world peace and universal harmony. Thus, he founded Holy Wei Xinism. Holy Wei Xinism is a religious organization which promotes peace culture with the aim of propagating Chinese culture and the goal of achieving world peace and universal harmony. It is devoted to future world peace. Zuguila 安大中的心所以天地立中圣人立教所以本人在二十八年前发掘个问题自己修行嘛以中华文化道统一经汉风水法则为国修道为民祈福所以在二零一零年的五月九日尊天立教《唯心聖教》作為未來世界和平的一個依歸的燈塔。E Jing is a landmark Chinese cultural document and the most important among all doctrines. The Tao of E Jing is broad and encompassing. It combines the essence of Buddhism, Taoism, and legalism. It is the source of the hundred schools of thought. With his remarkable understanding of E, Grandmaster Huan Yuan teaches people of the world the principles embodied within. Life is Yi. Yi is the great learning. He unveiled the thousand-year-old mystery of Yi Jing. Yi is the great learning. 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 
，和与其就是世界和平的根源，就是在欲。所以本唯心圣教唯心中，啊，本人行道一直在推动欲道，而欲道是世界和平的根源，欲道是世界和平的无上法宝。In 1983, Grandmaster Hun Yuan first founded the Yi Yao Society to practice the Tao and bring to people relief from their sufferings and miseries through his knowledge of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. Residences, businesses, companies, factories, and even schools are beneficiaries and concrete testimonies of the power of Feng Shui on both physical health and business success. It has benefited and eased the mind of more than 300,000 people. It is sufficient to say that the study of Yi Jing and Feng Shui is a wonderful way to benefit all. The world needs peace. We must have a God's heart. 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 和易道之些天心，那么本唯心圣教宗旨是天下太平，而以易道来利他。那我们若是人人能以利他，为国修道，为世界人类来祈福的时候，世界就和平，这是不变的真理呀、啊。Grandmaster Huan Yuan is a religious master and educator. Since beginning his practice 29 years ago, he has devoted himself entirely to peace across the Taiwan Strait and throughout the world with the selfless heart of heaven and earth. Grandmaster Huan Yuan always helps people through all their confusions and questions with great patience. When people feel at a loss, they can always turn to the teachings of Grandmaster Huan Yuan. Always with an invariable smile, Grandmaster Huan Yuan relieves worries, puts minds at ease, and makes sad faces brighter. He is a practitioner of Yi and of world peace. Education is the shortcut to regular learning. With decades of experiences and testimonies, Grandmaster Huan Yuan teaches us that people's anxieties and miseries must be improved through the education of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. From the inner to the outer, let people understand, concretely and radically, the value and meaning of life. Yi Jing is a wonderful thing. 24 billion, 6,400 years of wonderful wisdom is not lost. 心，这叫万法唯心。心是有爱的，心是和平的，所以世界要和平，必须要用心。所以本宗和本人呢，办学的宗旨是养贤蓄才，正明育德，高尚其志，天下太平，才能见到。世界未来的光明。Grandmaster Huan Yuan founded Yi Jing University in 1991 in Taiwan to popularize the study of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. The whole of Taiwan is our campus. Study centers are set up all over the nation. As long as one has the chance and the sincerity, he is able to study close to where he is. There is no age limit. Thus, the Everybody Studies Yi Jing, Every Family Finds Blessing movement was born in Taiwan. In recent years, the structure has been geared toward attaining holistic education, full-spectrum education, and lifelong learning. We are working toward the ideal of achieving global and future influence. In 2006, Grandmaster Huan Yuan built a permanent campus for Yi Jing University in the Bagua Mountains in Nantou. The campus occupies about 300,000 square meters. 
It is the only university in the world with full knowledge education in all I Ching and Feng Shui talismans. The much anticipated College of Advanced I Ching and Feng Shui Studies was completed in 2008. During the ceremony, Grandmaster Huan Yuan remarked that, Another aspect of meaning in building the university campus is our hope to set an example that Yijing is a great field of learning. In this way, Yijing is no longer a mysterious, obscure font of knowledge, nor is it a mere tool for divination and fortune-telling. It is, rather, a tremendous source of practical knowledge that encompasses the greatest to the finest, from the laws of heaven to the laws of earth and the principles of humankind in between. It has been 15 years since Yijing University of Holy Wei Xinism was established. Its primary goal is to promote Chinese culture and its essence. Currently, the programs we have for the study of Yijing and Feng Shui include the elementary program, the regular program, the teacher training program, the Advanced Yijing Xinfa Summer Program for College Youths, and the Yijing Xinfa and Feng Shui Development Program for talented Chinese worldwide. In addition, in order to deepen the study of Yijing and Feng Shui, we specially established the Children's Yijing Education Center to encourage children to study the Yijing. Currently, over 1.23 million children in Taiwan recognize the superior wisdom of Chinese culture. They are the powerful new force for the work of world peace in the future. The Advanced Yijing Xinfa Summer Program for College Youths, held by the abbots of the Holy Wei Xinism Merit Association, offers unconditional spiritual and material support to students so they can study without worries in order to encourage youth elites to begin studying the I Ching as early as possible. The program has been held for over 10 years. More than a thousand students have participated in the program with successful and rewarding results. Besides classroom lectures, there are also satellite programs and courses over the internet. It is now fast and convenient for the whole world to participate and study together. In order to carry out the full spectrum education, we have established schools in New York and Los Angeles in the United States, Sydney and Melbourne in Australia, and in Vietnam and Thailand. We aim to make Yijing available throughout the world to create true world peace together. Moreover, the Yijing and Feng Shui Interest Circle, founded in 1999, is a group to help students put theory into practice and actual service. Grandmaster Huan Yuan takes the role as the leader, offering long-term free residential Feng Shui consultation services with the professional knowledge of Yijing and Feng Shui. Already, over 10,000 cases have been recorded and organized into books for further research and statistics gathering. One thing worth mentioning is that after the 921 earthquake in Taiwan, with his compassion and sympathy and the aspiration to serve mankind, Grandmaster Huan Yuan personally led the group into the damaged areas and helped with reconstruction. He was devoted to assisting the victims and resolving their problems. Countless schools and residences have benefited from their service. Graduation. Every year at this time, over 3,000 students complete their studies and prepare to start the next stage of their lives. The chief mentor, Grandmaster Huan Yuan, encourages everyone to study diligently and put knowledge into practice. 
to have high expectation of oneself and vow to protect, to create together the great Weishinistic work. Chinese culture is the culture of peace. It speaks about the harmony of the entire universe and strives to attain the balance between people and things. Grandmaster Huenyuan founded Holy Weishinism with the intention to achieve balance and the harmony of the entire universe. In addition to setting up many Weishin satellite centers to accommodate believers and propagate the Dharma for all beings, we hold various religious worship ceremonies to find peace in people's mind and to resonate with the heart of heaven to turn the wheel of Dharma of world peace together. Grandmaster Huan Yuan teaches us that Zhongjiao In 1992, we started building Xianfo Temple in Janji Mountain. It is the founding site where Grandmaster Huan Yuan started propagating the Dharma for all beings. Grandmaster Huan Yuan planned this site in accordance with the theory of feng shui in order to harmonize with nature. With the principle of fill, not dig, the site was built with respect and protection for nature. Buildings are integrated into nature. It is our hope to create a pure land in the world. During the time of construction, something amazing happened. We were in the process of building the Shenfo Temple, a building with 1,650 square meter floors supported without structural columns. It was designed and built by Grandmaster Huan Yuan using the wisdom of Yi Jing and Feng Shui. However, on the 21st of September, 1999, Taiwan experienced its biggest earthquake in a century. It was devastating. Although the epicenter was directly behind the temple, the building was not even slightly damaged and remained intact. It was a miraculous event that is still extolled today. One can only be amazed by the profundity of feng shui studies. It also proves the ingenious nature of Yi Jing with regard to the science of architecture. It is precisely this event that brought many believers closer together in this site. In this way, the Dharma of Grandmaster Huan Yuan further broadened and expanded, attracting people from all over. Over the years, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has gradually installed over 40 Weixin satellite centers nationwide, as well as overseas. Their establishment not only comforts all living things and encourages social harmony, but also elevates the light of the human heart through religious dharma and rituals that fully express the Tao. The power of religion is thus dedicated to construct a peaceful society and promote world peace. In 2006, the unique Weixin College of Buddhist Chants was established in Taiwan to foster professional and talented people to propagate the dharma and hold grand Weixinistic dharma services Grandmaster Huan Yuan once remarked that the true meaning of Dharma services lies in making friends, drawing families closer together, knowing one's heart through the Dharma, and praying together for harmony between humanity and the transcendence. Grandmaster Huan Yuan has been practicing Tao all his life, always following the principle of Dharma and heaven. He keeps firmly in mind with foremost wish for world peace, in order to express gratitude to heaven and the masters, each satellite center has held annual Dharma services to help the faithful avoid accidents and bad luck through prayers for 28 years without interruption. Such services have benefited innumerable people and heaven and brought salvation to innumerable lives.
In 1996, Grandmaster Huanyuan founded the Merit Association of Chinese Humanistic Pure Land, which is now known as the Holy Weixinism Merit Association, to serve the public and to create greater affinity. Inspired by Grandmaster Huanyuan, tens of thousands of people have joined the Holy Weixinism Merit Association to participate in the great undertaking of Dharma propagation. From 1996, Grandmaster Huanyuan began utilizing the television medium to propagate Dharma, broadcast on Chinese cultural orthodoxy and I Ching and Feng Shui studies. Fourteen years have already passed. In February 1998, the Taiwan Television Company launched a half-hour program broadcast at 6 o'clock every morning. By January 2011, over 4,425 episodes have been broadcast. The content mainly expounds and propagates Chinese culture and I Ching and Feng Shui studies. Programs also illustrate the application of I Ching and Feng Shui in different aspects of everyday life. It integrates all religions with ancient Chinese wisdom to inspire and benefit all life. In the area of Dharma promotion, the program employs Feng Shui study, which is related to life stabilization, and teaches the application of correct Feng Shui ideas. The Grand Master hopes that its audience can improve their life and social environment through a correct understanding of Feng Shui principles and achieve an ideal state in which all live in peace and enjoy their work. Every family is happy and society is in harmony. On February 27, 2007, after 3,000 episodes of the program, the myriad facets of I Ching and Feng Shui, the show was relaunched under the new title, Let's Learn I Ching in order to provide a more systematic guide for the general public to study the quintessence of Chinese culture, the I Ching. The program was also used as a platform to deliver lectures on Confucian peace thought. Also, from November 3, 2004, Master Huanyuan began delivering lectures under the title Feng in My Home on Taiwan Television's digital television channel. The program targets youths and teenagers to introduce the proper way of I Ching and Feng Shui so they can apply ideas to their careers, families, and life. One thousand six hundred fifty episodes have been broadcast since the program was first launched. It was well received and has achieved great influence. In order to spread the Dharma further and wider, Grandmaster Huan Yuan established Weixin TV in 2009. It is the only TV channel in the world that specializes in I Ching and Feng Shui, with the great responsibility of documenting and propagating the Dharma. Since Weixinism now has its own TV channel, it can broadcast 24 hours a day in Taiwan and overseas simultaneously via satellite. It can also broadcast to every corner of the world via the Internet. Today, the one-hour program, Weixin World Events, is hosted by Grandmaster Huan Yuan himself. He leads all believers to a higher understanding and genuine caring about what happens in the world. Grandmaster Huan Yuan's contribution to propagating world peace culture includes Chinese cultural orthodoxy, I Ching, and Feng Shui studies, and promoting world peace via broadcast media. It is enormous and far-reaching. Grandmaster Huan Yuan has worked for many years lecturing and propagating the Dharma. He has delivered lectures all over Taiwan, as well as internationally, he has given over 500 lectures about residential feng shui. Each lecture was fully attended. Such lectures in which Grandmaster Huan Yuan is able to communicate with the public directly, to listen and answer people's questions face to face, have been deeply effective and well received. The Propagating the Dharma of Feng Shui for the Home Convention held on March 24, 1995 in the Linko National Taiwan Sport University Stadium 
was attended by more than 36,000 people. Such a tremendous turnout underscores the interest and concern modern society places on the proper practice of feng shui. We began to propagate the Dharma overseas in 1998, gradually spreading Chinese culture in the study of I Ching and Feng Shui all over the world, including the United States, Australia, New Zealand, Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, and mainland China. It has a major impact on the promotion of Chinese peace culture and the development of world peace. In recent years, in addition to the general lectures on I Ching and Feng Shui and lectures on I Ching and business administration, the World Taiwan Businessman Association was founded to offer practical service to Taiwanese business people worldwide, especially in Southeast Asia and mainland China. The service not only helps with practical aspects of life, such as feng shui for companies and factories investments, among others, but also enhances business stability. Thousands of businesses and hundreds of thousands of employees have benefited from the service, as have their families in an indirect manner. Therefore, our service is extremely popular and highly regarded wherever we go. In addition, the Holy Weishinism Merit Association has printed and distributed more than a million free residential feng shui manuals, which has become the heirloom of every household. The development of cross-strait peace is closely linked with world peace. Chinese culture is a culture of peace. As the leader of Holy Weishinism, Grandmaster Huan Yuan is devoted to promoting Chinese culture. Since 2001, he has held the annual Cross-Strait Academic Cultural Communication on Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu Study Convention and several senior-level cross-strait talks, which have contributed enormously to the development of peace between Taiwan and mainland China. In June 2001, Grandmaster Huan Yuan stated in the first convention, the Master also remarked, holding this convention lets us meet friends through Dharma to exchange thoughts, exchange ideals, and exchange love. Let the light of the great love of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu illuminate the boundless universe and every corner on earth. In October 2005, Grandmaster Huan Yuan announced the foundation of the Nantian Cultural Association to present and exchange the results of academic studies with the international academic community. He also leads his disciples to participate in international conferences and promote I Ching and Feng Shui of Chinese culture. On July 30, 2006, the first forum of Yan Emperor, Yellow Emperor, and Churyo Civilization Forum was held at Donghai University in Taichung, Taiwan. Grandmaster Huan Yuan commented on his motivation for holding these forums, emphasizing that Holy Weishinism is making many friends through the wonderful methods of I Ching and Feng Shui. It is the truth of Tao. Every chapter of our religious dharma that we teach helps people become great and intelligent. By tracing back to our origins, we can achieve tangible world peace through intangible inner peace. On September 5, 2006, Grandmaster Huan Yuan was invited to attend the International E-Instructors and Religious Architecture Feng Shui Forum held at Utai Mountain in China. He led a group of disciples and chaired the forum, at which he delivered a speech entitled The Architecture of Buddhist Religious Temples as it relates to I Ching and Feng Shui. He stressed the importance of well-built temple foundations, as such influences significantly the promotion of Dharma and improves the life of the living. In his lecture, he proposed 70 key I Ching and Feng Shui principles that architects should follow in the design and construction of temples. The Advanced I Ching and Feng Shui of Architecture Forum for Chinese Worldwide was held on July 7, 2007. The 54 papers delivered at the forum focus primarily on I Ching and Feng Shui theories, applications, and proofs. The lively event was widely praised and appreciated by the experts and scholars who participated. 
The Advanced Aging and Feng Shui in Architecture and World Peace Development Forum was held on August 30, 2008. Its purpose was to create the platform for the development of world peace based on the orthodox lineage of Chinese culture and I Ching and Feng Shui studies in combination with architectural aesthetics. On November 5, 2009, Grandmaster Huan Yuan held the first convention of academic and cultural communication of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu study in the city of eight trigrams on Yunmeng Mountain in Qi County, Hunan Province, mainland China. Master Huan Yuan gave a moving speech. The Grand Master's passion for the people and love for the culture, his contributions and efforts toward building cross strait peace and attaining universal harmony are strongly evident. On January 3rd, 2010, Grandmaster Huan Yuan held a historically significant high-level forum on the contributions to world peace of the three great Chinese ancestor civilization, Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu's thought and the art of war. More than 1,000 representatives from mainland China and Taiwan participated, with more than 200 from China alone participating. At the forum, Chinese and Taiwanese college professors, experts, and scholars from all disciplines were invited to make thematic presentations. Their talks earned enthusiastic response. To convert people in one lifetime with speeches, to save people in 100 lifetimes with books. The Weixin Yao Press has recorded and organized lectures and writings of Grandmaster Huan Yuan produced over the years. More than 800 volumes have been published so far. The Weixin is a museum was completed in 2010. It preserves all the records of the practice, documentation, and writings of Grandmaster Huan Yuan over the last 29 years. It is a way to pass on these wonderful, world-saving methods to future generations. This intention and effort not only makes concrete contributions to expanding the space for the development of future world peace, but also inspires the improvement of human knowledge and helps mankind achieve inner peace. For the past 29 years, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has held on to a great wish for universal harmony, spreading the Dharma and protecting the pure land on earth. He has devoted his life to promoting essence of world peace and has been practicing incessantly the Dharma of world peace. He is a religious educator whose knowledge and actions are one. He is a practitioner of E and of world peace. Grandmaster Huan Yuan founded Holy Weixinism to propagate Chinese culture, the three great Chinese ancestor culture, and the culture of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu as a central principle. He told us that Holy Weixinism traces back to our origins. If we want real world peace and harmony in the universe, we must know our roots. To this end, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has instructed his disciples since 2004 to pursue origins-related research. Use the contributions of three great Chinese ancestors' culture to advance world peace. The three great Chinese ancestor culture refers to the Yellow Emperor, who is worshipped at the earliest ancestor of humanity, the Yan Emperor, who is respected as the progenitor of agriculture and medicine, and Churyo, who is regarded as the pioneer of industry. They created the Chinese civilization together, and their time marked the beginning of Chinese clans and unions. The uniting of the clans and the cultivation of cultures gradually strengthened the Chinese nation and spread to embrace magnificent agricultural and scientific technologies all over the world. On September 6, 2009, Grandmaster Huan Yuan founded the Taiwan Weixin Association for World Peace. 
he leads tens of thousands of disciples and talented individuals to propagate and cultivate the three great Chinese ancestor culture and its legacies of Yijing and Feng Shui, both in Taiwan and throughout the world, through practical action. The association has extremely important influence on world peace, and its meaning is deep and profound. Build temples for the three great Chinese ancestors, solidify the national union, and pray together for cross-strait and worldwide peace. Paying respect to heaven and earth and worshipping ancestors are both expressions of filial piety, as well as the origin of the morality of the Chinese people and the foundation of Chinese culture. From 2002, Grandmaster Huan Yuan began to build Yellow Emperor Palace Hall on Zhao Mountain and began constructing Churyo Shrine and Yan Emperor Temple on Fan Mountain. Both mountains are situated at the cradle of Chinese civilization in Zhuolu, Hebei Province, China. These establishments foster a sense of belonging for Chinese descendants, unite the Chinese diaspora, and facilitate cooperative work on world peace. Since 1994, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has led disciples every spring on an annual pilgrimage to Zhuolu in Hebei Province to pay respect to the three great Chinese ancestors. In April 2008, Grandmaster Huan Yuan led a group of professors from various Taiwanese universities to China to seek the roots, the origin, the veins, and the source of Dharma in Chinese culture. He also installed a shrine at Shenfo Temple, the home base of Wei Xinism, and invited the three great Chinese ancestors back to Taiwan to pay them respect and worship. Moreover, many Dharma services were held to pray together for the eternal peace in the pure land. Spread Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu's peace culture to the world and expand the development of world peace. Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu culture inherited Chinese Kunlun and Fuxi civilizations, encompassing the studies of Yijing and Feng Shui. Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu culture is peace culture. His thought is a practical study for humanity in the 21st century to achieve world peace. In addition to promoting Chinese culture and three great Chinese ancestors' culture, Grandmaster Huan Yuan puts much emphasis on the thoughts and teachings of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu and the spreading of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu culture. In March 2002, he established the Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu Academy for further research and to promote and cultivate the Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu peace culture all over the world through lecturing and education and through the mass media. Build the city of eight trigrams on Unmong Mountain, integrate different streams of Chinese culture and support the union of the Chinese people. Yunmeng Mountain in Hunan Province, China, part of a spur of the Taihang Mountains, is the cradle of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu culture. Many famous military strategists in history, such as Sun Bin, Pang Ren, Su Qin, Chang Yi, Mao Sui, and Xu Fu, studied here with Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu. Since 1996, as part of his ongoing effort to trace Chinese origins back to their ancestral source, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has led his disciples in annual pilgrimages to Yunmeng Mountain. During the 2000 pilgrimage, he vowed to build the city of eight trigrams, which would amalgamate all forms of Chinese culture on this mountain as an expression of gratitude to his ancestors and his origin. The city of eight trigrams on Yunmeng Mountain will be the city of Chinese culture in the future and the melting pot of all cultures of the world. The city of eight trigrams on Yunmeng Mountain was built by Taiwanese business people, covering an area of 720,000 square meters. Inside the city are the Wang Chan Lao Tzu Palace Hall, Memorial Hall of Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu, Yijing University Bodhisattva Wang Chan Lao Tzu Academy Cultural Research Center, and other buildings. Once completed, Chinese culture will prevail again. All Chinese clans will be united, China and Taiwan will begin to connect, and all Chinese descendants will create world peace together.
中华文化道统，血脉延年，悠悠岁月七千年。啊，诸多流芳，繁衍祖孙亿万三重天。但是中华民族，从先元皇帝、炎帝、蚩尤帝三族以来，总共。发生了三千七百六十二次大小战争，这是中华民族、中华儿女的不幸和悲情。同是中华儿女，本应相互的尊重，同宗同源同祖德，正是祖德流芳。所以，我们首先要达到两岸的。中华儿女心所相连，啊，与和平的智慧和爱心，所以举办这个追根溯源，是二十一世纪和未来千秋万世，整个中华儿女应有的基本信念。In order to inspire filial piety and thinking, promote filial behavior, and integrate different ethnic groups, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has held the Unified Ancestor Worship Ceremony for Chinese in the 21st century on New Year's Day every year for six years between 2004 and 2010. The event attracts some 36,000 sons and daughters of China all over the world who join and share together as benefactors of a shared Chinese heritage, their acknowledgement of, gratitude for, and intention to repay their forefathers with filial hearts, dignity, and solemnity. These ceremonies are the beginning of worldwide Chinese reunification and a demonstration of mutual respect. They also initiate world peace and universal harmony. In this grand ceremony, the holy souls of all 917 Chinese emperors and the 15,615 spirits of all Chinese forefathers who carried all Chinese family names were invited with respect to receive the pious worship and prayers of their descendants from all over the world. In the hymn composed by Grandmaster Huan Yan for the ceremony, we witness his great benevolence, his great virtue, and great love. In the ceremony, we witness that all sons and daughters of China join together with their hearts, intentions, and action. At this moment, we are full of gratitude and thankfulness, and very honored to pay respect to and worship our ancestors, to express gratitude and fulfill filial duties. We hope that all Chinese descendants can join hands and hearts with the glory of humanity to create true world peace together. Universal harmony is the common wish of all human beings on earth. Since the beginning of his practice of Tao, Grandmaster Huan Yuan has propagated and promoted peace culture in diverse, multi-dimensional ways and created infinite space for the development of future world peace. His dedication can be the model for people in pursuit of world peace. His contribution is the paradigm of a harmonious universe for all human beings. He is the hand that pushes through the development of world peace and the helmsman turning the wheel of Dharma toward world peace. He is the highly respected and much expected master of Yi in modern Taiwan. The leader of holy Wei Xinism, Grand Master Huan Yuan.